Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to use Canva to design awesome graphics and videos to save you time and money in your business. So if you're anything like me, you've heard of Canva, you know that it's a tool that you can use to design graphics, and maybe you've tried it out in the past and maybe you let it go. I absolutely did that. And in the years since I tried Canva, it has significantly improved and made huge strides to really saving you time and making amazing looking products. So today I'm gonna to give you the shortcuts and the best tutorial so you can do the most with Canva. I'm Natalie Lucier, founder of Access Ally, which is a WordPress-based solution for online coaches who want to scale their businesses using courses, memberships, and community. So let's talk about why I love Canva and why you will too. So first of all, it is extremely awesome for teams. So if you have more than one person on your team that you want to collaborate on design files with, it makes it so easy to make comments or share different files and just make sure everything is on brand using your branding guidelines. Now, the other thing I love about Canva is it can do video and also graphics. So it's really known for graphics, but it's come a long way when it comes to the video side of things too. So let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial right now. First, I'm gonna dive into the things that I love about Canva Pro for Teams, and then we're gonna go into editing videos and then graphics. So here you can see we have Team Access Ally, so that's my company. You can also see that we have people on here, so I can invite different members of my team, and then we can share documents across the company, which I absolutely love. Now, the other thing I love about this is that you can do your brand colors and your brand kit. So you upload your different logos and you choose which fonts you have and which colors you use for your branding. And then it's super easy to use this in your designs. So top two things for business owners right there. Now let's go ahead and create a design and you can choose from suggestions here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a YouTube short because that is such a cool thing that you can do directly inside of Canva. And by the way, there is a Canva app right now. I'm just gonna use the browser because most people probably will do that as well. But you can see here we have templates to choose from so we can search or we can just browse and see which ones we wanna start with. So I like this one right here and we're gonna go ahead and apply all four pages um, but before I do that, I can actually shuffle these colors. <laughs> so this is also very cool. And I'm gonna just go ahead and apply all four of these pages. So now you can edit here by scrubbing and you can see what it's going to look like. You can also hit play. It'll also play the music. So right now it has a song added to it. Uh, but what I'm gonna go ahead and show you is that you can import your own videos and then edit them. So as you can see here, the video I added just gets added right here. So if I wanted to have a blank section, I can go ahead and do that. And then what you can do is you can easily resize videos so that they will actually fit with this particular size for YouTube shorts. Okay, so now you can see this is going to play by itself. Okay, but let's say I actually wanted to insert this video here and replace this video of someone typing over here. So I could just drag that right into this template here and you can see I can start to change some of these colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one right here and you can see I have our Access Ally brand colors right there so I can start to make some of these changes and this one right here. So I absolutely love the way that you can also update some of these fonts as well. So you'll see our recommended fonts. So these are the ones that I usually use in my business. Um, you can also choose from recommended fonts that work with this particular design. So I'm gonna keep this one for now. I can change the colors again. And you can see here, this starts typing. So um, you can also change this effect. So right now I have the typewriter effect, but let's say I wanted it to be uh, more of a pop. So it kind of pops in or gets swiped in or it sort of breathes in or pans. So you can really change the effects that you want for the text as well. And then let's say I wanted to make this shorter. You can just drag and drop this. So this whole animation will happen a little bit faster. And if I wanted to drag it out, let's say I had audio that I want to add on top of that, then you've, we've gone ahead and expanded that as well. And also, if you wanted to add something like B-roll that goes on top and you wanted to insert that, you can also just go ahead and add a video. Hey, 
So you can also upload audio files and add those in and layer them into your video. So what I like to do is record the audio outside of Canva and then move it into Canva and then you can move it like this. Now, if ever there was a section, let's say that you wanted to cut, you could just move this little cursor arrow here, right click and then split audio. So this is great if you wanted to move things around, give space. And the same goes for when you're editing the actual video too. You could split at any point. And then you can also add transition. So if you were to click here, there's a little transition that you can add. So you could do a circle, um, transition or a dissolve. So in this case, actually, it's not gonna show very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it here so you can see what happens um, when we have that transition. So let's see here, transition. And you can do a slide. You can do a dissolve, a circle wipe, a line wipe. And so all of these are super easy to do in your animations. And then when you're ready, you can continue to edit and change text and do all of the things using these templates. You can also export. So here you can download your file and you can export as an MP4 video. You could even do a short animated clip. So maybe not this long of a video, but if you had a really short video that you want to do an animated GIF for, this would work really, really well. I also love to use Canva for presentations and also for other types of content. So let's do a social media graphic. So let's say we want to do a Facebook post. So you can start with templates and this is where the editing really comes into play. So this one kind of looks like what I was working on earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and update these colors using my color templates a little bit more here. You can see it's super easy to rebrand and change some of these colors. Okay, so you can see you can rebrand some of these things as well. Now, one of the other things I absolutely love about Canva is the elements that you can insert. So you can search for things that you want to add. You can see some of these graphics are actually in the same design style as these ones. So I can kind of browse and see other things I might wanna add that kind of match with what we have going on here. Um, you can also look for videos you can insert, audio you can insert. Again, this is great if you're editing those videos. Um, you can do frames. So you can also add images that are cropped a certain way. So let's do a little frame just to show you how easy these are. So let's say I want to add an image here. So I'm gonna go under my uploads and then I will grab a photo like this and then you can just insert it into your frame like that and then you have this image you can kind of drag and drop and replace and then you can just do the design for your social media and really have something going here. So you can see we have so many options when it comes to this design elements. And you can go ahead and search for elements as well. There's so many to choose from. So I like to do little arrows sometimes based on what I'm talking about. So let's say I'm going to uh, point to something and actually let me, let's do something like this. And then let's add some text. And again, you can use some of these recommended ones that are already pre-designed and just look really cool. So maybe I like this wild sale uh, little graphic here and I can update how this works. So I'm gonna use that and then I'll say like use code ABC. And so I can resize some of this, move it down. And then that just brings a lot of attention to this code, for example. So you can start to see, you can drag and drop, change all kinds of things. You can also change the text here. So like, um, maybe I would call it amazing sale. And oh, I might need to resize that slightly uh, or great sale. Okay, so you can see that we can really design all kinds of things here using these different elements. And there's another really awesome benefit that I love about Canva that I feel like makes such a big difference. So um, you can also use some of the photos that they have. And if you have a pro account, you have tons of options for some of these stock photos that you can choose from. But let's say that there's a stock photo that I wanted to try here, but I wanted to remove the background on it. So let's say I will go with this photo. 
photo. And um, you can also move things forward or backwards. So I'm gonna bring this forward because I don't want anything to cover it. And then if I click on edit image, I can do all kinds of awesome things. So I can change the brightness, I can change the contrast, uh, I can change the saturation. So these are all things I like to do if my images come in and they're not looking great from the get-go. And then the other cool thing is the background remover. So background remover is probably one of the things I use the most, especially when it comes to designing YouTube thumbnails or other things where you want a photo of someone, but that just stands out with no background in there. Okay, so as you can see, this managed to save this person here, but it also saved those, uh, you know, t-shirts. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply, and then I'm just gonna double click this, and then what I can do here is I can just crop that part out completely and just keep the person. And then once I'm done, I click this little arrow here, and you can see here we have this beautiful image without the background. And that took no time at all because Canva did all the work. So if you're used to something like Photoshop where you have to do all of the work on that, uh, you know, removing the background side, this is so much easier. Now we also talked about our branding and our logos. So really cool thing is you can just grab your logo. You don't have to re-upload. Everything is super easy to add in here because they're already all here. And then you can also export in different formats. So you can export directly to Facebook, you could schedule if you have a pro account, um, post to a Facebook group. I tend to also just download directly and then upload later, uh, but it really depends on what your use cases are and how you like to use things. I think this is such a great way to go. And I highly, highly recommend Canva for both video editing, especially shorter videos where you wanna have a lot of animations and text and also graphic design like this. I hope this quick tour and deep dive of Canva really gave you all the tools and the tips you need to succeed with Canva. Now make sure to watch my next videos all about WordPress website building, as well as all the other things you can do in your business to help you scale and grow.